Test 10. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Choose the best answer, A, B, C, or D. Now listen to the four statements. You will hear... A. He is on the phone. B. She is driving the car. C. She is typing on the computer. D. He is sitting next to her. Statement D. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer D. Number 1. A. A lot of the men aren't working. B. All the men are involved in the work. C. They have finished their work. D. They will start working soon. Number 2. A. He's working on the roof. B. He is climbing a ladder. C. He is sunbathing. D. He is throwing a ball. Number 3. A. He's talking in a phone booth. B. He's fixing his car. C. He's drawing a map. D. He's leaning on his car. Number 4. A. He is buying some bread. B. He's cooking the dinner. C. He works in a bakery. D. He is eating some bread. Number 5. A. He's facing the crowd. B. The crowd is aggressive. C. He's ready for action. D. He's firing his gun. Number 6. A. They are at a market. B. They are in a restaurant. C. They are on a farm. D. They are growing vegetables. Number 7. A. All the children are holding hands. B. The children are in the street. C. The children are walking away. D. The children are sitting down. Number 8. A. They are fishing. B. They are buying their lunch. C. They are getting out of the river. D. They are eating by the river. Number 9. A. She is riding a horse. B. She is running in the park. C. She is cycling on the grass. D. She has fallen off her bike. Number 10. A. They are feeding the birds. B. The birds are flying away. C. They are chasing the birds. D. She is feeding the baby. Test 10. Part 2. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. The question or statement and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully. You are to choose the best response to each question or statement. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear... Why are you late? A. I hope I won't be... B. My car broke down... C. He always is... The best response is choice B. My car broke down.
Therefore, you should choose B. Eleven. Are you expecting them to arrive soon? A. I am not expecting much, actually. B. At any moment now. C. Sue's not coming. Twelve. Have you considered outsourcing? A. Yes, and it wouldn't work. B. I believe you're mistaken. C. No, I think I see what you mean. Thirteen. Do you have the time? A. Sorry, I'm really busy. B. It's a quarter to two. C. Yes, of course. Here you are. Fourteen. I would suggest changing the logo. A. Do you think it's too plain? B. So where do you suggest? C. But that was my favorite gift. Fifteen. I think I'll have the salmon. A. Don't you have any? B. You've got to make up your mind. C. That's an excellent choice. Sixteen. Where's the Wilson Building, please? A. No thanks. B. It's inside there, in front of you. C. It's where the science laboratories are. Seventeen. You're not pulling your weight, Josh. A. I'm on a diet. B. I work as hard as anyone. C. Wait. For how long? Eighteen. Would you let Mr. Harlow know I've arrived? A. Mr. Harlow can do what he likes. B. You should go right in. C. I have. He'll be with you shortly. Nineteen. Have you decided which one? A. Yes, I'll definitely take one. B, the blue one there on the left. C, Margaret won clearly. Twenty. You don't look well at all. A, what? Don't you like my coat? B, I'm sorry, I didn't notice it. C. Yeah, I think I'll go home. Twenty-one. Have a seat. I'll be with you in a moment. A. Thanks. I will. B. I've got one. Thanks. C. I prefer modern furniture. Twenty-two. Who usually does the recycling? A. Yes, it's very important. B. Every Tuesday afternoon. C. Maria from administration. Twenty-three. This copy machine is really complicated. A. You'll get used to it in no time. B, I think it's the other way around. C, no, it's always been like that. Twenty-four. Don't you think it would be a good idea to call ahead? A, 
Do you have the number? B. Well, what are you going to call it? C. I am afraid we're a bit behind, actually. Twenty-five. Did you book a flight? A. I'm reading a murder mystery. B. We're going to France. C. No, I can't make up my mind. Twenty-six. Are you sure this bus goes to the city center? A. Yes, I used to take it to work. B. Yes, I'm used to taking the bus. C. No, I used to, but not anymore. Twenty-seven. How was your weekend? A. Well, thanks. B. Busy but good. C. In two more days. Twenty-eight. Who has the Johnson files, Jill or Morris? A. Either of them, I'm sure. B. Both of them are adequate. C. I think neither of them do. Twenty-nine. Are you listening? A. At the moment, to Mozart. B. Sorry, what did you say? C. That's a loud voice. Thirty. Sure, I can help, but not till after four. A. But it's the first I need help with. B. Actually, I'm not so sure myself. C. Never mind. I'll have finished by then. Thirty-one. Are you going to the post office? A. No, the bank. B. No, the third office. C. No, thanks. Thirty-two. Who's that over there? A. You mean the girl in green? B. I don't know what you're talking about. C. No, over there by the coffee machine. Thirty-three. Did you book a conference venue? A. We're in negotiations. B. Yes, I finished the book last week. C. I think it's overdue. Thirty-four. Have you met Miss Price? A. Yes, we've been introduced. B. I have an appointment on Thursday. C. I wasn't at the meeting. Thirty-five. Are they going to provide training? A. I think they're flying. B. I've already bought it. C. I certainly hope so. Thirty-six. How did the interview go? A. I'm going on Tuesday. B. Fairly well, I think. C. In the personnel office. Thirty-seven. The Christmas party's tomorrow. A. How could you forget that? B. That's right. It is, isn't it? C. Yes, it was yesterday too. Thirty-eight. When's your flight? A. I have to go to gate two. B. 
on the 26th at 6 p.m. C. To Berlin via London. Thirty-nine. Where's my thumb drive? A. I thought you bought a laptop. B. I'm not a confident driver either. C. Doesn't Patricia have it? Forty. Would you mind closing the window? A. It's been on my mind too. B. It gets hot in here. C. Not at all. Test 10. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response for each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Morning, Beth. Hi. Gosh, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? You can say that again. Hey, what do you think? We could have the planning meeting across the street in the park. Um, what? Let's have the meeting in the park. I'm serious. I read an article about creativity in business last week, and apparently changing the work environment can encourage creative new solutions. Wouldn't it be distracting, though? I think the sunshine would do us all good. 41. What is the weather probably like? Forty-two. Where did the woman get her idea? Forty-three. How does the man feel about her idea? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Where's Daniel? He's over an hour late. Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you. He called in sick. Again? This is ridiculous. Well, I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose. Yes, but it's the third time this month. Yes, well, he's trying to do the workload of at least two people. It's not surprising, is it? We're lucky he doesn't quit. 44. Why is the man angry? 45. What is the woman's attitude towards Daniel? 46. Why does the woman think Daniel gets sick? 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. I'm going for a coffee run. Do you want anything? Oh, yes. A cappuccino would be lovely. Do you take that with sugar? Hmm, yes, one. Are you going to Jimmy's Cafe by any chance? I'd love a carrot cake, too, if you are. Oh, I thought I'd go to Starbucks, but I could just as easily go to Jimmy's. I know it's a little bit further, but the cakes and breads there are so amazing. And it's nice to support the local businesses, isn't it? Yes, yes, all good points. So, you want a carrot cake? Yes, please. 47. What does the man offer to do? 48. If it's from Starbucks, what does the woman want? 49. How does the man respond to the woman's suggestion? 50-52 through 52 refer to the following conversation.
I think I'm going to have to hire an accountant to do our taxes this year. They have books on that, you know. Yes, I know. But it's just such a nightmare to figure out with both of us self employed. It'll take me weeks, and there's just so much I'd rather do with my time. But accountants aren't cheap. Well, do you want to get a book and learn how to do it? 50. What is the problem? Fifty one. What can be inferred about the woman? Fifty two. Who does the man think ought to do the taxes? Questions fifty three through fifty five refer to the following conversation. It seems really odd to me that they're holding interviews but haven't told any of us anything about it. I wonder what's up. Yeah, I know what you mean. To be honest, I feel like I need to start looking around for another job. I, I really doubt the company is looking to expand right now. Oh, so you think there'll be some layoffs coming up? I'd be willing to bet on it. 53. How do they feel about their employers? 54. What does the man think will happen? 55. Is the man sure there will be layoffs? 56. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation Debbie, whose name did you draw for the Secret Santa gift exchange? I drew Miss Clark's secretary, Leanne. But it's supposed to be secret. We're not allowed to tell. That spoils the whole thing. Yes, well, you're not going to tell Leanne, are you? The problem is, I don't know her at all. I have no idea what to get her. I thought you could help. You two are friends, aren't you? I do see her socially occasionally, but I don't know her that well. She's good friends with Lisa, I believe. But whose name did you draw? Mine? I am not telling. 56. How will they be giving gifts? 57. How well does the woman know Leanne? 58. What can be inferred about the man? 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Christopher. This is Gina. Hi, Gina. How are you? I'm fine, but my son is sick. That's why I'm calling. I've kept him home from school, and my husband has a deadline this Friday and couldn't stay at home with him. So I'm not sure what to do. Would you mind if I don't come in today? Is that really inconvenient? I could try to find a sitter, but I'm at a bit of a loss. Don't worry, we've got everything under control here. You can stay home with your son. This stuff happens to all of us. It's fine. Thanks so much. Hopefully, he'll be well enough to get back to school tomorrow. 59. What is implied about Gina's husband? 60. Why doesn't the woman call a sitter? 61. What will the woman finally do? 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. I have to get to the office by 8 a.m. tomorrow, so we'll have to leave at 7.30. Not again. I'm at work a whole hour early each time this happens. It's a whole hour I could be sleeping. I'd take a taxi, but it's too expensive. I think maybe I'll take the bus. I'm not sure you're going to save time that way. How long is the bus journey? About an hour. So you'd have to catch the bus by eight. But they only come every 20 minutes or so, don't they? So you'd have to be at the bus stop by 7 40, really. You're right. That's hardly worth it. 
62. What does the woman want to do? 63. How could you describe the man? 64. How will the woman probably get to work? 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Oh, no, not again. What's happened? I've just lost all my work. The computer crashed? Yeah, it's the third time today. I keep doing the same thing over and over and over. It's getting really annoying. Aren't you backing up? I back up at the end of each day. I didn't realize I need to do it every ten minutes. Not even after the second time it crashed? What are you saying? Just think it'd be a really good idea to back up frequently. It only takes a few seconds. Well, yeah, now I know it, don't I? I hope so. 65. Why is the woman upset? 66. How can you best describe the man's tone? 67. What does the man imply about the woman? 68. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Are you coming for lunch? Um, I've got to finish this spreadsheet. If I stop now, I'll virtually have to start over again. How long will it take you? I've no idea, really. You'd better go ahead. Do you want us to bring you back something? No, thanks. I need to stretch my legs and get out of the office. I just need a quarter of an hour or so to finish. You could order for me, though. Sure. What do you want? Your usual chef's salad? You've got it. <laughs> I'm predictable, aren't I? 68. Will the woman go for lunch? 69. What will the man do? 70. What can we understand about the colleagues? 10. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following message. Okay, Jess, we've tentatively scheduled the conference for the 23rd to the 25th of March. First, I need you to contact the keynote speaker, Professor Cartwright, and just make sure that he can attend on those days.、Um, next, if he agrees, can you make sure that the tentative dates, along with a tentative schedule for the talks, Uh, gets emailed out to all the other speakers too today so that we have some time to juggle the talks around if anyone can't make it. Got that? Please give me a call when you return just to verify that everything's clear. Thanks. 71. Where would this message likely be heard? 72. At the time of the message, What has been decided for sure? 73. What must Jess do right away when she returns? 74 Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement Good morning and welcome aboard Flight 533. Weather conditions this morning are fair, and we expect to land on schedule in Sydney in approximately 12 hours. 
In the course of the flight, we will be serving you lunch, dinner, and a continental-style breakfast just before our arrival. The duty-free cart will be passing through the aisles shortly after takeoff, and if you wish, you may take this opportunity to make purchases. You will find the duty-free magazine in the pocket of the seat in front of you. I would like to remind you, as always, smoking is not allowed anywhere on the plane. Now, as we begin taxing for takeoff, please give your attention to our safety video. 74. How many meals will be served? Seventy-five. What are the listeners asked to pay attention to? Seventy-six. When was this announcement made? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following message. Hello, Ben. How are you getting on with the graphic designs for the magazine advertisements for Anna's florist shop? Well, guess what? Ms. Anna Tibbs just called me and said she's in town and would like to come past to see how we're getting on. Yes, I know, I know. You were expecting to meet her next Friday, not today, so you're probably not at all prepared. But I couldn't turn her away now, could I? She insisted. Anyway, just do the best you can to satisfy her that the work is progressing and that it's going to be fantastic when it's done. Obviously, you've got some preparation to do, and the other tasks of the morning will have to wait. Okay, I'm in the office if you want a word. 77. What is this message about? 78. What does Ms. Tibbs want to know? 79. How does the speaker expect Ben to feel when he gets the message? 80. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Our three-year international hospitality and tourism management program covers all the major theoretical and practical components of a hotel operation. It also enables the student to acquire the business skills necessary to manage a hotel operation profitably, while at the same time adhering to world-class standards. Two industry placements of 20 weeks each in the first two years of study are an integral part of the program. This degree program equips graduates with intellectual and leadership capabilities, which will allow them to move into a range of international managerial positions within prestigious organizations. If you want an exciting career filled with enormous opportunities, then all you have to do is submit your application now. 80. What is the purpose of this announcement? 81. Where might this announcement be heard? 82. What does the course prepare students for? 83. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following message. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, I've just received my order of office supplies, and I must say I'm not at all satisfied with the condition they've arrived in. First of all, the white printer paper has been treated so roughly that the packet is ripped and the inner layers of paper are soiled. Even worse, the edges have all been bent. It will get stuck in the printer, I'm sure. I've been trying to reach your customer service department all day, and I can't get an answer. This is just not acceptable. I hope you will return this call ASAP and suggest what action you will take to rectify the situation. 83. What is the purpose of this message? 84. What is wrong with the paper? 
Eighty-five. What does the speaker want? Questions eighty-six through eighty-eight refer to the following advertisement. Imagine a dining experience like no other. In a pitch-black dining room, each flavor and texture greets enthusiastic senses hungry for an awareness once brought by sight. This is opaque. The city's first dark dining restaurant, a brilliant experimental dining concept. Dark dining allows food to stir the senses in the most unique way. Each burst of spice, each hint of sweetness, each touch of tang stands out, yielding an entirely new appreciation of fine cuisine. Under the expert guidance of Chef Mike Wang, the menu at Opaque cultivates a multi-sensory adventure. Eighty-six. What kind of restaurant is being advertised? Eighty-seven. What is unique about dark dining? Eighty-eight. What can you not experience about the food at Opaque? Questions eighty-nine through ninety-one refer to the following news report. Good morning. It's been reported that UK consumers now believe broadband is as essential a utility as electricity or water, according to a panel of government advisers. Some seventy-three percent of those questioned considered a high-speed connection very important. The communications consumer panel's research involved a face-to-face -face survey with 2,000 people across the UK. It is expected that the report will include a government commitment to provide universal broadband at a speed of 2 megabits per second by 2014. The chair of the communications consumer panel, Anna Bradley, said, "The key message is that people think broadband is at a tipping point." It's fantastically useful for everyone, essential for some now, but will be essential for everyone in the near future. Eighty-nine. On which news program would you expect to hear this report? Ninety. Broadband is very important for how many? Ninety-one. What has the government promised to do? Questions ninety-two through ninety-four refer to the following message. Hello, welcome to Cheetah Bus's automatic answering service. We regret to inform you that all bus services for the weekend are canceled due to the national bus driver strike. I will repeat. All services for the weekend are cancelled. We hope to resume services on Monday morning, and will keep this recording updated with the latest developments. If you have already purchased tickets to travel this weekend, you may call one eight hundred four five four four nine nine five with your ticket ready and apply for a refund. Ninety two. Why are there no buses running? Ninety-three. When should buses be back to normal? Ninety-four. You have a ticket to travel on Sunday. What can you do? Questions ninety-five through ninety-seven refer to the following message. Hi, Teresa. We have basically two choices for the convention. The Miramar Hotel on the seafront has excellent meeting facilities and lots of restaurant options nearby, but it's the pricier of the two, and parking might be a problem for the delegates. We were thinking of bringing in a caterer for meals, but the Miramar doesn't have space for us to do that. The Ritz, our other option, does. It's a bit out of town, but it's in a beautiful, peaceful location, and parking isn't an issue. 
Also, I don't really like the seafront area at night. It's quite crowded and noisy. I'm leaning towards the Ritz. Let me know your thoughts. 95. What is the purpose of this message? Ninety six. Where can they have their meals catered? Ninety seven. What does the speaker think they should choose? Questions ninety eight through one hundred refer to the following message Hello, Ms. Kitching. I'm Mary Brown, and I'm calling you from Great Western Hospital. Regarding your application for a nursing position, we would like to invite you for our first round of interviews. We'll be interviewing on the 24th and the 25th of September, and we've had a huge response from applicants, so they will be very busy days. We have not yet allocated you a time, but I wanted to let you know now so that you could keep both days open. We'll be contacting you again next week with your specific interview date and time. Thank you for your interest in the position, and I look forward to meeting you. 98. Why did Mary Brown call Ms. Kitching? 99. When will the interview be? 100. What can we infer about the interview? 100. That is the end of the test.